Hello, family. You know, Jesus says we should love him with everything that is within us. He says with all our heart, with all our strength, with all our soul. That's how he wants us to love him. God is love. Jesus is love. And he loved us first but gave us the ability to love him because the Bible says the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts because we in ourselves do not have the ability or the capacity to love God the way God would want us to love him. So he had to put his love in our hearts and that love has the ability and capacity to grow more and more and so every day we grow more and more as we get to know Jesus and loving him with everything. You know, loving God doesn't mean um, when you go to church or when you sing a song or when you just say, oh, worship Jesus, I love you. Jesus told us in practical terms that loving him means loving other people. That means if I say I love Jesus, it has to be expressed pressed in the way I love other people. The Bible tells us about this king dividing the goats from the sheep. You remember the story? And um, in Mark, in Matthew chapter 24, where Jesus was dividing the goat from the sheep and um, and Jesus said, when I was hungry, you, visit, you gave me to eat. When I was in prison, you visited me. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink and on and on. And they were surprised and they said, Jesus, where did we see you in prison and visit you? Jesus, where did we see you hungry and fed you? Jesus, when did we? And the Bible says that the king will say to them, as long as you have done it to the least of this, these you have done it unto me. As long as you've done it to the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. He calls us his brethren. That's how Jesus calls us. So what does it mean to love God? Let's love God a little bit more and more and more. You know, it means that when I see a situation, I am the solution provider because Jesus is in me and I'm in Jesus. So how do I show that I love Jesus? Is by meeting a need. That woman down the road, that old lady down the road that has no one to care for her and nobody just checks on her and she's wondering what's happening. That woman that has lost her husband and she has five kids and she's wondering where to get the rent where to school them, how to feed them, that um, person who's been ill or that person ha is, that is out of work or different situations, whatever the issue, Jesus expects us to be his channel of blessing, to reach out to the world. That is what he is saying. So when I was hungry, you gave me to eat because you helped that person who was hungry. You helped that person who was needy. And Jesus said, that is how to love him. Today, I pray, dear Lord Jesus, that you help us to love you indeed with all of our hearts, with all of our soul, with everything. We thank you, Lord, in the awesome name of Jesus. Amen.